your boy that's the true inferno ah! and i got to stop the music right now because i know this wasn't the case i know somebody out there felt the same way as i did leading up to this past sunday but for those around me outside of my co-workers it felt like the whole world was against me but at the end of the day i felt like Bray Riot, and I had the whole world in my hands when I said the Patriots were going to beat the Seahawks to win the Super Bowl, and I got it right, so bam, <laughs> once again, I had another fantastic postseason outside of the Detroit Lions getting screwed by the NFL referees during that game against Dallas, but outside of that, very good playoffs, uh, postseason rather. So, with that out the way, there was a topic that I wanted to do. Actually, and before I get to this, I, I need to talk about that. That game was so funny. Everybody talk about, well, if they would have gave the ball to Marshawn Lynch, he would have scored on second or on third down. Well, and everybody keeps saying, well, the Seahawks gave it away. Well, first and foremost, I have to counter that with this. There was no way in heck that Russell Wilson should have completed that pass to what's-his-face where that ball was tipped, kicked, and bobbled all over the place, and somehow it was still a catch. There was just no way. So, <laughs> I just say it was the Patriots, for the most part, winning it rather than the Seahawks losing it. Now, with that out the way, um, now let's get to today's topic, what I was about to say. Like I was saying, I was going to finish the continuation of the Chuck Tester story. I may do that next week. I don't know. Um, I'll probably wait until the week after. But something happened earlier today that affects me emotionally. And I want to discuss this in the form of a topic. So I ain't going to say what it is. You know, I ain't going to get on into it because then some people will ask me certain questions and things of that nature. So let's get straight into the topic. And this is for all the guys out there. And the topic here is the type of chick you should be looking for. So like, if you're single or, you know, whether you have experience in dating or you have relationship experience or not, there's got to be some criteria you want to set when you're looking for a girl. Now, granted, I get it, you know. When you see a girl and you just have these certain feelings for her, the criteria can go out the window. That's so what happened to me. Because remember, I did a video about my idea girl. And there's this one girl, I'm not going to get into it, that doesn't necessarily fit the majority of the criteria that I have set. So it's complicated how that is going right now. But again, this ain't about, well, it's somewhat about me. But it's mostly not about me and my situation. It's about you. And let's get straight into it. Fellas. When you're looking for an idea, girl, obviously you got to go for the dating process. And the dating process doesn't mean you're in a relationship with this girl. No, you're dating somebody as in to try to learn the ropes about that person. Try to learn the or in this case, about that girl. You know, you're trying to see what she's like. Try to get a feel for her. Like, okay, you know, what her personality is like, you know, what she do, what's her hobbies, what, you know, what she, um, interests are, and so forth and whatnot, you know, what type of friends she's hang out with, and that's what the dating process is for. So, again, just because you date somebody, that doesn't automatically mean, oh, he in a relationship, because I know somebody, well, I, I ain't gonna say I know somebody, I was told that... Somebody is going through a serious dating process where they going out with, I think it's two people at once, just to try and get a feel on, you know, who that certain someone should go out with or try and start a long-term commitment with. So, again, I ain't going to get into that. So, you know, that's basically what the dating process is. Now, during the dating process, guys, one of the things you have to figure out is the type of friends she have. And this is a major problem. Uh... That this is a major problem that I can relate to that happened to me in the past, you know, because my ex had a lot of guy friends. 
she did never she didn't really have a lot of friends that were girls. She had a lot of friends that was guys. This is not a good thing because and that's really my major thing, because you never know. There's a certain thing called friends with benefits or yeah, they start off as friends, but because they've been cool for so long, they know each other for so long, certain things may happen behind your back if you fully commit to this girl. You know, so, and you don't want to be in that situation. So, if you're going out with somebody, trying to learn the ropes about her, and she comes out the blue say, oh, I have a bunch of guy friends. Now, I'm not going to say that should be a major turn off, but... That should be some. Ne that should be a negative sign. You know, you you can't just brush that off. You should never ever brush that off. Um, because it's interesting because I was. Well, I'm gonna say I was recently. I was told that one of my boys try to. Uh, you know, he was dating this girl. This was a, like a year or two back. He was dating this girl. You know, trying to get a feel. Well, he was trying to date this girl, hanging out with her, stuff like that, trying to get a feel for her. But she just wanted to be friends. And it, he was like, no, nah, that's not happening. You know, it's either we date so we can get, possibly get a relationship going or there's, or that's it. You know, there's no, no there's no friendship or nothing. I'm not saying, oh, they got beef or anything like that. But basically, he was looking for a girl to, to date and possibly get in a relationship with. Not a girl just to be friends with, you know, so... That's his, you know, that was his mindset. Now, whether that mindset correct or incorrect, that's another story for another day. But I can see where he's coming from because it, then if a dude shows up and he want to date this chick and you friends with her, some doubt may be creeping into his mind and he may feel insecure about his girl hanging out with you, you know, things of that nature. So for a girl to have a lot, I ain't saying a girl should have no guy friends, well done, but for a girl to have a lot of guy friends, that, that's a major negative. And that's really the one major thing I have an issue with if you're trying to uh, hook up with a chick. So, and, and, you know, and, but again, like I said, there's certain scenarios where the criteria you set for a girl may not apply. And it's all about what you're feeling. Like, if you're really feeling this chick, despite the fact she doesn't meet your criteria, then this could be tough. Like, do you go with what your feelings say or do you go with what your head say and your brain and your common sense and say uh oh she doesn't fit the criteria there could be trouble coming along my way and so forth and whatnot and blah 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 so yeah that's all i want to say about that and as you can see the game is over we won and i had a really good game playing with fd and company right there all right so this is jim ryan the second saying peace out y'all and see y'all this weekend that my dreams are going to fail Can't open the door But got some knowledge and keys The little boy without a toy Bring the show and tell No mortgage, no cars No college degrees The cautionary tale Yeah, yeah, I heard of him Booney Mayfield ain't he broken in 31 You ain't Kanye West, nigga Quit trying to rap Do what you do best, nigga That boom bap you made In that room back in May Years ago, he's a lead The more I grow The less you believe in me Forget a cow Competition ain't nobody seeing me Cause I'm better than everybody at being me